Hi guys, David Michael here, collecting blue vervain. Don and I ran out, need to get some. I wanted to show you the plant, show you some key identifying features, and talk it up because this is an absolutely wonderful herb that anybody would want to add to their medicine cabinet. Now, in beginning foragers, I've talked to a lot of them that are nervous about misidentifying this between purple loosestrife and blue vervain. Purple loosestrife has a round stalk and it doesn't have a leaf axle with a stem but the leaf actually connects to the stem and the flower is a lot bigger than this. This flower head the whole thing flowers but never at once. The ring of flowers kind of goes around it as it goes up. It's really neat. This has a square stalk And the leaves are jagged and toothed, long and narrow, rough to the touch. How to prepare this is you collect a few stalks, not the root. You pull the leaves and the flowers, put them on a newspaper or in a dehydrator and let them dry. You can use them fresh to make a tincture by loosely packing them in a jar and putting 100 to an 80 proof vodka in it, then using a bubbler to move out all the air. Put the lid on leave for six to eight weeks and it makes the tincture. I use this for a tea. One of the bigger benefits is this is a painkiller, very mild painkiller, but a good one. Uh, I know a lot of people that are trying to find ways to utilize this for lupus and a couple other ailments that modern medicine is struggling with finding a pharmaceutical painkiller that's mild and non-addictive or doesn't have a lot of side effects. Check with your doctor when you add this in if you're on any kinds of medications and make sure your doctor's okay with it or whether he has some suggestions of giving you a different medication that allows you to utilize this in your diet. But as a mild painkiller or a sedative tea, um, this plant is phenomenal, but the list of the things that this plant, Blue Vervain, is good for is almost endless. So do some research on this plant, and next time you're out near a wetland that's clean and doesn't have bug sprays or anything like that, and you know that it's a good, clean plant. Also, this transplants readily, easily. So if you want to transplant this in a a wet spot in your garden it should do pretty good it tends to seed and come up in places you don't expect it to it does its own thing for sure uh, but it's a wonderful plant blue vervain look for it while you're out guys I promise you'll enjoy adding this to your medicinal cabinet happy foraging if you like these videos please hit the like button if you want to see more made like it, please subscribe. And if you want to be notified to any of the new videos that Don and I decide to upload through the season of harvest that we're going to do this year, please hit the bell icon and you'll be notified. Happy foraging, guys.